Mm. Hey everybody, I'm Jubilee. I go by Native Soul sometimes. And I just got up out of bed, so I'm in my jammies. I know, I know it's unfair that I look like this when I get up, but you are beautiful too. Today, I am gonna do my first vlog. I'm gonna step way out of my comfort zone <laughs> in so many different ways. I'm gonna show you my day on shrooms. Sorry, Mom. If you watched my last episode, you know that I take psilocybin very, very seriously uh, because I understand the ancient technology that it is. It is not a drug. It is an entheogen. It is directly from the earth. And I am in a place where it is federally decriminalized, even though it shouldn't even be listed as Schedule 1 because uh, they know how powerful it is for people's consciousness. That is a different conversation. The point is, I know what it is. I've done my research and the group that I'm associated with, like, I'm trained to uh, <laughs> take these in a very specific condition, the setting has to be very dark and it's nighttime and you, you basically just like let the mushroom teach you and it's just you. I've never like, besides like microdosing for mental health reasons because of OCD and severe generalized anxiety disorder, whatever, I haven't like taken a dose of shrooms like in the daytime just because, you feel me? Like I've, I only do it for like deeply spiritual in healing and learning reasons. I've been healing a lot of trauma, like, pff, girl, listen, I am not even the same person that I was when I started this YouTube channel. I've been changing very quickly and I'm not telling anybody to do this at home, okay? It's good for the brain, actually. Like, look up John Hopkins University, do, look up their studies that they're doing on it, look up maps, look up the research if you are weird about it, but if anybody is here to either judge me or trying to put me in a box that you want me to be in, look, do us all a favor and please click off. Don't bring that negative energy over here because I'm not about that. So yeah, I am about to have therapy. All these natural ways of healing are a part of the route that I chose to take for my journey. Um, you can you know, stick to pharmaceutical drugs and you can stick to numbing if you want, but I like to confront ish to the roots, like at the point where I can deal with them in a healthy way. So anyway, I'm about to have therapy, but before I go on Zoom, I'm gonna pick out my outfit for the day. I'll just shower and change and everything. So yeah, see you in a second. <laughs> exactly what my parents were afraid of. Great. Now I'm gonna go ahead into the kitchen. Da 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 da, or da da da. No, it's more like a da 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 da, yeah. I'm gonna take them like a G. Not putting them in no smoothie. People do that, but I'm not gonna put them in a smoothie. I'm just gonna eat them because they're mushrooms. They're literally, mu they're literally mushrooms. Now that's clear. It's time to go into the kitchen. I'm back and I'm brown. I was gonna say black, but this is black. Clearly, I know my colors, but rest of society, I can't speak for them. I was just thinking like, even though I'm, you know, I'm doing this in the daytime or whatever, and it's for fun, it really is still a part of my healing journey. Let me weigh these. I know, and like some of you are like, oh, oh my gosh, like what about your career? Also, look at Steve Jobs, you know, people like that who do this, they clearly don't care. It clearly didn't stop them, but again, like they're white men in America. But I am a brown woman of many dreams, and I will be okay. I am okay. Thank you. Thank you for your concern, though. I appreciate it. These smell horrible. 
No one wants to do this all the time, I promise you. Blech. I love how even though I put my hair up, I still left the two that were in my five head. They're still there. Bon appetit. Just do it. This whole process is obviously mental. All of it is. From eating it to being on them. Okay. Let's go. Gross. There's no way anybody would want to do these all the time. I'm holding my breath so I won't taste them. But I can still taste them somehow. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Hey, I'm just gonna vlog from my phone instead of that big A camera because that's just doing the most. Like, why? I have a good phone. <laughs> Alright, so obviously it's kicking in. And I just like really had it brought to my attention of how fear-based religion is. Oh my gosh, like I already knew this consciously, but like actually feeling how much that has affected my life is horrible. And just how judgmental people can be. It's so weird. I used to be so judgmental of people, but yet love them. And it's just a very confusing thing, isn't it? And I think the religion that I was brought up in there's so much judgment, so much fear, but it's love. And it's so freaking confusing, yo. Like, is anybody else confused by this concept? Like, what the heck? Ooh, this is gonna be a very interesting day. I am definitely, definitely here. The boxes are over there because I'm, I just moved in. Woo! <laughs> Bruh! This is good. This is good for me. Talking about this stuff. I might cry. But yeah, like there's no reason to fear. I think that fear is so stupid. It honestly is so dumb. Like, afraid of what? Afraid of what? You can't die because you're energy and energy only transforms. It, it doesn't die. Energy never dies. Ever. 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 That's what I'm saying. We've been here before. Oh, the birds. They're outside. I hear them. I feel them. I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I, I look like a hippie. I literally look like a hippie right now. Look, look at the guitar in it. Bruh, <laughs> my guitar right there and then that. Whatever, I'm just accepting myself. Accepting myself not based on past boxes. Yeah, because many people are like, you know, preacher's daughter, shame on you. It's always shame, it's always guilt and always fear. Listen, those Frequencies, because emotions are frequencies. Those frequencies are so bad for your health. For real. For real. You don't need to experience life like that. Like, we can actually step into a reality where there is love. And you know, where there is perfect love, there is no fear. And that is true. I'm gonna step outside. <laughs> It's calling me. Y'all see me looking out here. I'm so blessed to have a balcony. Oh, oh there's my neighbor. Hi. I'm just making a vlog. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm so weird. Good thing he's not going to see this because I'm not, you know, I'm not famous or anything. <laughs> I will be because of like other reasons, but <laughs> YouTube is just a very personal, low key thing. <laughs> uh oh, Michigan is feeling kind of LA out here. I do not need this on. Oh my goodness. Or to continue this talk. Oh, uh uh, don't get windy on me now. Well, be yourself, Mother Nature, be yourself. I will go with the flow. Let me just, let me just pause for a minute. Stop talking. Just going with the wind. Just going with the wind today. <laughs> Y'all, the 
think I'm playing. Like, I actually need to go with the wind today. Oh my gosh, I am such a strict person. I'm a contradiction though, here's the thing. I'm a Sagittarian who loves to be free, you know, don't box me in, don't give me these boundaries, don't set these rules, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so that's the free spirit, right? But then, <laughs> dealing in this life with obsessive compulsive disorder and having to have everything a certain way and also like wanting to always put my best foot forward like i i just am such a perfectionist and it had i'm speaking in past tense it had a grip on me like i didn't realize that wow hmm. but for why why <laughs> I think it just goes back to like being afraid of of judgment and it's not even like judgment from god because you know god is love god is everywhere including inside of us and there's nothing to fear with that it's just people like people when people are afraid to get judged in religion it's really because they're afraid of other people in religion of judging them Period. And y'all know it's true. Y'all know it's true. Like, oh, I'm afraid to do this. I'm afraid to do that. I'm afraid I, I'm saying I'm struggling with this. Like, cut it out, bruh. Like, cut that out. It's not real. That's not real life. That's not living. Being afraid of judgment. Being afraid of fear. Being ashamed all the time. For what? Who are you? You're not the judge. There is none, except for the one that you are. And we judge ourselves. We judge ourselves so much. That's not how it should be. This is trippy. I don't see anything, but like, hearing wise, it's pretty cool. Like I'm not, it's not scary. I just can like pay attention and zone in on a certain sound and really feel that sound. Oof, it's like being too in tune. <laughs> I'm already like in tune in tune, you feel me? So like right now it's like <sighs> in tune, too in tune. This is very powerful thing it's just sad like how much we think we have to put on a show i think we have to perform and perfect for what we don't think we're good enough that's why but we are and we always have been it's so interesting because i'm i'm this artist right and i can perform i'm a good performer but when it comes to life <laughs> When it comes to life, you cannot find me acting, bruh. You cannot catch me acting. Like, I am not, I'm not out here pretending like I'm something that I'm not, period. Is this crooked? See, there goes that OCD stuff. I, I'm not here to act. Like, people in the, in the world are really sad. Sometimes I feel their sadness in an overwhelming sense because i don't deal with depression but sometimes i do feel what they're feeling it's really heavy and i just want people to know that they don't have to be that way live a life where they feel like oh my gosh this is hitting i i didn't even eat breakfast yet i need to eat breakfast bruh one second let me just put food in me Cause, because I will sit out here and talk forever and I am still very aware of taking care of my body. <laughs>